Okay, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single Friday and Thursdays when it's about American Horror Story. Yeah, you can see on the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you my full review with spoilers of the final episode of the first season of American Horror Stories because in case that you didn't know, it has been renewed for a second season. And that's not precisely a good thing. Now, I'm going to be giving you my review, but at the end, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my opinion on the whole season. And also, if you don't want the spoilers, but just to see if it's worth watching or not, description box down below. There you're going to find my spoiler for review, as always, because I like to give you guys the options. So giving that disclaimer ahead, let's get into the video. Now, the title of this one is Game Over, and it's literally about a video game. No, it's about Murder House, once again. The first two episodes were about Murder House, and this last one, it's about Murder House too. Now, we right jump in into the Murder House with this couple that the girls actually know as Cyrus, and they say that they are huge American Horror Story fans. Now, they treated it as, as a show, not as inside the universe of American Horror Story, but rather as an outside show from real life. And they mention a lot of re-mention, Hotel Hortez, so of course, this is the type of episode that if you haven't watched any season of American Horror Story or nothing really at all, probably this type of things they're not going to make any type of effect on you or maybe you're not going to understand it to the full capacity because you don't have watched already the seasons that are about these places or the characters. Now, they are here because the murder house has turn into an Airbnb and it's escape the murder house. It's like interactive experience that you have to literally escape from the ghosts. Now they get into the house and you're supposed to find where Tate impregnated Vivian, like on the first season. And they get into what was Violet's room and he takes out his jacket and he has um, like a really similar sweater to the one that Tate used to use and he says, do you want to cosplay? and they kind of start messing around with them, but they start hearing things and they think, oh, maybe this is part of the experience. They get into the basement and we have three girls that are trapped. They were killed on Halloween. And then we have the Red Bull or the Infantara and the couple is killed by Bloody Face that is the killer from Asylum and Twisty that is the one from Freak Show. And basically she starts to like glitch and this is when we realize that it's actually a video game that has been developed called Escape the Murder House. And we have this mother and her kid that is trying the game and he's like, this is not good, it don't, you don't understand the vibe of it because he's a really fan, a really huge fan of the show and she kind of watches it because she's trying to bond with her son but it's not working. So she decides that she's going to buy the murder house in order to live there so she can get any type of inspiration for the game. Right when she gets in, she met Ben Harmon. And she actually, she gets there on Halloween night. So of course we all know what happens on Halloween night. And she met Ben, which I think it was really good to see him back. Um, also Abby, it's actually a feature on the game. And um, she's, you're going to die in there. And it was really cute too, to see her once again on American Horror Story. Now, Ben Harmon is telling her that basically it's the endless pain and the thought that nothing is going to end. It's like a, a loop. So that's why they're so merciful here. And she's trying to understand it. And she eventually encounters Ruby and all the girls that were bullying Scarlett on their first episode. But she eventually, she gets killed. Of course. Now we jump one year later on Halloween night and she, of course, she can get out. So of course she goes to her son and he's like, this is all your fault because you lied to me because she said to him that she was going to a horror convention and she was, and he was like, when we found your body, it wasn't that hard to know where you were and things like that. So of course he's mad about it. And of course, since it's Halloween, we have the return of Scarlett to the murder house to meet with Ruby and all the all the characters um, all the previous ghosts that we have seen they're already out and then we go to the sunrise and we have scarlet and ruby kissing one last time before the sun is eventually out and ruby is already on the inside of the house and scarlet leaves now what they get to the point when they realize that 
the, the son of the girl, the, the woman that is developing the game, he says that the only way to free those ghosts is by burning the house because burn, because burning will purify everything that has happened there. I mean, it's not precisely a something that is crazy because it's something that has been talked before that fire can purify stuff. So he's going to burn the house. Yeah, basically he burns the murder house and everyone wants it to burn because they want to leave. They don't want to stay there for the eternity, except for Ruby, of course, because of Scarlet. So she's trying to stop everyone and kill in some kind of way. Everyone so says she can stop him from burning the house. But Ben Hartman takes her and all the girls and he start, and they're like, do it. So the, burn, the murder house, it's burned to the ground. It's sad, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, watching that beautiful house suddenly burn kind of hurts. Now, after that, um, Ruby actually screams to Scarlett, like, die with me, but she says, like, no, and she leaves. And we have three years later, and what was murder house, now it's our condos, they're millionaire condos, and we have a Scarlett that she's going to buy the last one that is available. She asks about if has something happened, and the person that is selling her the apartment, he says that no one knows actually that it's where the murder house was. He doesn't tell anyone because nothing has really happened. So he doesn't have to. She buys the condo and she gets into the bathtub and she's like, Ruby, I'm here. But it's too late and she starts crying. And when she gets to bed, a rubber hand gets here on the shoulder and it's ruby because once the house got burned every single one of the ghosts they left they're free except for ruby ruby decided to stay waiting for scarlet and they start kissing and the camera like goes backwards to like do a complete shot of the condos and blood fireworks they start to appear and this is when we realize that this is the 2.0 version of escape from the murder house from the game and the mother and the kid they're like do you like it do you think that's better and he's like yeah and you could add this and maybe do that and you're like what like what the hell happened so and he asked her like do you really think that after the house got burned those souls were really free and she's like well we hope not and they leave and the last shot it's the camera going to the floor and the red ball rolling to a chair and that's when it cuts of course leaving you on the cliffhanger then maybe they're out there now it really makes you question what things were real and what they're not of course making and developing the game was real but it really makes me question how the hell someone will know about ruby and scarlet unless it was all part of the game from the very beginning makes me think that maybe the first two episodes were not really happening on real life and they were part of the storyline of the game because it doesn't really make sense her knowing about them when she's basing the game on the season like they're portraying because they're featuring all the girls that are actually mentioned on the season on the show and also characters from other seasons nothing about things that have happened in real life so I don't know if they make that on purpose or maybe it's just a huge plot hole. Now, in general, it's quite confusing, but I see this as the ending and goodbye to the murder house. Um, I think that burning the house and setting free the ghost, it's the way to say to the fans, the murder house, it's over. It's literally game over, which it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like a relief like thinking that the murder house is officially over so we don't have to like watch the same thing over and over again but at the same time it's kind of sad on the fact that it's the first thing we ever saw it's the most iconic structure of the whole series so of course in my personal opinion i think that apocalypse was the goodbye of murder house i think that that specific episode when we have Jessica Lange on it, we have Violet, we have Tate, Vivian, we have all the characters back. I think that that was the greatest opportunity to say goodbye to Murder House, not this. I think that this one wasn't worth it or right to say goodbye to the Murder House. Like seriously, I am not really happy with how everything turned. Like I don't really dislike the episode, like, but it's not the best either. Like if you ask me for me the best episode, it's the one from Baal, there is the fifth one. And the worst one is the fourth one, that it's the one the naughty list from the influencers. For me, that's the worst. Now, American Horror Stories, I think that fans were really hoping to see 
real quality episodes with real good stories. And don't get me wrong, these stories could be good, but they aren't well developed. And that was the problem. Now, this really is going to affect America Horror Story double feature that is coming next week. Because I have already seen, I went to Twitter once I ended the episode and the reactions are really divided. Many people love it, many people hate it. I am more on the middle. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Uh, American Horror Stories is not the type of show that I will rewatch. It's not like the previous seasons of American Horror Story when you can rewatch them and you're going to love them every single time. This one is like one time and go. Seriously, if you don't have Hulu and you're thinking about watching this, just do the free trial. It's not worth the money, let me tell you. Being completely honest, it's not worth the money to watch this. Unless you want to watch horror free American Horror Story double feature that is coming to Hulu also next week after being released on FX on Wednesday, so maybe you're thinking about that. So in that case, kind of worth it. But I will give this one like a three out of five, and a six out of ten, and the whole season a two point five. Seriously, for me, the season is not the worst, but it's definitely could have been better. I don't know, I think that many people are going to be upset about this. Not everyone has love for American Horror Stories. And also, like I think it's a waste of good stories. Like for example, the last episode that was about national parks and mis the mystery around it, that was that could have been a whole season. Seriously, and you wasted on an episode. I don't know, I think that Ryan Murphy really needs to reevaluate on what direction he wants to bring American Horror Story because if he's trying to get some views and new fans, it's not working. Like, I am going to invest it here to stop watching it, but many someone that is saying, maybe I want to watch American Horror Stories to see if I have the motivation to watch the nine seasons, probably you're not going to be that interested. My personal opinion and my personal advice, watch American Horror Story, at least to the fifth one. They're good. From Roanoke to the rest ones, they aren't that good, so you have their warning, but at least the first three seasons, they are amazing. Like, they're the reason why this series is so successful. And well, this is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments how do you feel about it. You're going to watch it, rewatch it. Do you think it was a waste of time? Do you think that they shouldn't renew it? Let me know in the comments your thoughts. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Bye.